<laughs> so, hello everyone. My name is Michał Herda, and today I would like to talk uh, about uh, a project for modern common list documentation that I call uh, the Common List Ultra Spec. During ELS 16, which was last year in Krakow, I presented a short lightning talk that I called yet another rant about the state of common list documentation. It was short, it was a little bit nervous, and it contained uh, too many things that I wanted to say in too, too short time. So, I decided to extend upon it, and uh, uh, as I received a lot of feedback about this project, I would like to present yet another rant about the state of common list documentation, Part 2. I would like to begin with an image uh, that uh, all of us uh, common list people uh, should be familiar with. Uh, common list hyperspec, the, the very definition of class. Uh, it is uh, basically a web version of the common list standard. Very useful because it solved uh, countless problems, countless disputes uh, and created some new ones. And, uh, well, since I wanted to, to complain, I, I will begin. First of all, it looks like it was made in, uh, in the 90s. And... Uh, <laughs> uh, Yes, uh, this, uh, uh, this is an uh, uh, actual thing that I heard uh, with the regards to the hyperspec. Uh, it is not uh, very user-friendly when it comes to being uh, searchable, for example. Like, uh, when I need to find something in the ultraspec, I go one of the two ways. If, if I have the IRC channel open, <laughs> I simply ask the bot. <laughs> and if I have the web browser open at the moment, I ask Uncle Google. It works surprisingly well. CLHS uh, with the symbol name gives, or even an inexact symbol name like here, gives me pretty good results. So actually, it works even though it's just uh, static, uh, static uh, HTML and doesn't have any search system. Okay. I was a little bit surprised to, to discover recently that there has uh, that there exists uh, one more uh, one more work similar to it. Uh, the France online A and S shipped with the Allegro common list. It is pretty similar visually. I could have inserted a screenshot here, yeah. And uh, as an as an interesting thing. Uh, if we type uh, a symbol in, in the search field over there, we end up in Google again. <laughs> but this is just a minor thing. It works pretty uh, flawlessly, just like with the CLHS. All of this, and we also have uh, many, many, many sources of uh, other uh, bits of documentation. Uh, for the Common Lisp uh, Interface Manager, for CLX, for ASDF, for... There's a lot of extensions and libraries for Common Lisp. And there are solutions that aid uh, making one's way around uh, all of this. Such as the Lisp org, Lisp where the I is substituted for uh, one. It is a search aggregate that you can uh, well, search, you can uh, put a simple name and it not only automatically tells you... Uh, I mean, uh, not only it re recognizes which uh, bit of list it comes from, uh, uh, this symbol comes from, but it also uh, uh, redirects you to the proper page. One issue that I see with, with this is we have multiple bits of documentation scattered all, uh, all around the web on uh, uh, various servers, on uh, sometimes uh, weird links, such as the, this one with, with port uh, 8000. 
it is troublesome. I bet uh, there are mirrors all, all around, but if one of these addresses goes down, there's a lot of uh, links pointing into well, dead websites and so on. Additionally, these uh, parts of documentation are in various formats, uh, are not, not, uh, sometimes inconsistent when it comes to style and so on and so on. Well, there's uh, a giant fragmentation uh, and diaspora, in a way. Going on with the services that try to like uh, collect all the bits of list from uh, around the web, there's QuickList, forever in beta, uh, which uh, collects uh, list, yes, but it is only a library manager. It is not in any way, it, uh, well, documentation is not in scope of QuickList. But, uh, there are actually uh, definitions of uh, systems in QuickList. And uh, inside the code, there are documentation strings. Uh, one could create a service that simply collects this data, extracts the documentation strings, and uh, presents it to, to the user. Bam! We have QuickBooks. Which is a pretty nice service. Except uh, it doesn't always work. For example, when we look for a very popular uh, library, Alexandria, we get quite a lot of information where when we Google another, I mean Google, when we search for another, Bodo Threads, all we get is a link. Additionally, we can see that the Alexandria uh, is written with uh, documentation strings uh, included uh, inside the function bodies, inside the macro bodies, whereas BT is not. The actual commands are uh, outside uh, the code. Okay, but uh, we are talking right now about uh, the ecosystem of common list li libraries. Uh, let's go back to the specification. One thing that we might uh, look into is uh, the hyperspec is not the standard itself. Then, okay, what is the, the standard? Where can uh, anyone uh, get it? Well, from the NC itself. Except it's uh, rarely a good choice. This is uh, the, the pages from the PDF files uh, from the standards sold by uh, NC Common List. So it's basically a poor quality scan that is not browsable. Cut, uh, this first page uh, it is cut, the second has holes, and so on. It doesn't really work. And on top of that, it's copyrighted, heavily copyrighted by uh, NC, which is uh, an organization uh, of uh, Lawyers. <laughs> a lot of lawyers which uh, are going to guard, uh, uh, guard, 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 guard uh, all of their treasure, I mean uh, the standards. So if I decide to publish a work based on the ANSI common list standard, I'm, go I'm going to get a few of these lawyers uh, chasing me. So, okay, we cannot use the standard itself. What about the hyperspec? Can we modify it? Hell no. We cannot uh, create uh, any derivative works, we cannot make partial copies, modify the copies, replace any link or uh, the beautiful graphics. We cannot do anything with it expect, ex, uh, except for basically copying it verbatim and making a full mirror of the site. So, one sad thing is, we cannot use the hyperspec, the second, we cannot use the, the standard, which leads me to a sad conclusion that uh, if we wanted to make a new edition of the hyperspec, we may not. Except, when I was writing, uh, sorry, when I, when I was reading this page, this screenshot, uh, this screenshot already occurred once, there is a very interesting uh, sentence over here that I am go going to zoom into. The document in these pages is derived from DPNs2. 
VPNs, which stands for Draft Preview, American National Standard, uh, the second draft. There are total, uh, there are three drafts in total, with the third one being uh, pretty much the same, very similar to the final published standard. And what is very important, this uh, draft preview is released uh, by the original authors, by the X3J13 committee, under public domain, which is very, very free. So, this gives us hope and allows me to continue with my presentation <laughs> and introduce a possible solution to the state of common this documentation, part two. Basically, let's take a look at the DPNs. Once we extract the archive it comes on, we basically get a lot of tag files. Tag files, uh, they are compilable. Uh, we can build them with uh, modern uh, tool chains. Uh, the dbi.z uh, files are actually compiled uh, DBI files that one can extract and see. Inside, we, we get a lot of tech. Uh, this is tech uh, that is decently good. Uh, it is uh, somewhat customized and, uh, and uh, inconsistent inside because uh, this, the specification was a uh, body of work of multiple options of people, so it's natural that uh, style varies. But basically, it is possible to parse it and turn it into another markup. I chose the markup of uh, the DocuWiki rendering engine, mostly because it was the first thing uh, that I thought of. And once I have something uh, like this, I can tell the processing engine DocuWiki to turn it into something that looks like this, which is similar to, CL, to CLHS, except uh, I can uh, style it differently, except I can modify it, except uh, I can fix any possible mistakes uh, in the specification, and there are uh, some, of, uh, some of them, and so on and so on. Uh, this is the screenshot of my editor in work, which is Notepad++ that I run on Linux through Wine. Uh, the, uh, the reviews of my paper uh, were uh, telling me that I was uh, going to get some flag for my uh, choice of editor. Okay, this will come later. But basically, what I'm doing here is, uh, I, have, I have some uh, open uh, tabs. This is uh, the body of uh, here is the, the first ch chapter of the specification, and I do search and replace with regular expressions. Regular expressions, some of which uh, are visible of, over here. Uh, up there is uh, what I uh, am looking for, and the bottom what I replace it with. Except uh, it is an say that if you uh, try to uh, solve a problem with regex, you now have two problems. Because HTML, which is a little below uh, tech when, when it comes to language grammars, parsing a a HTML in regex results in this uh, beautiful piece of art on the stack of overflow. This is actually a pretty famous uh, screenshot that tells the person to uh, use an XML parser. HTML is, is context-free, but the tech is context-sensitive. The reader uh, is actually to read complete, it can re redefine itself as it reads the, uh, as it reads, uh, the tech macros. So basically, and, uh, trying this from the general perspective is going to give everyone a very bad time. But, parsing a subset and I know that subset because it is used in the draft preview is surprisingly decent because it has led me uh, into the place where I am right now with, uh, all, the, 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 with, with all the of the dictionaries parsed, uh, the, gloss, the glossary finished and uh, well, it will uh, work for me in the future 
as I keep on uh, working and uh, hopefully finish the project. Uh, again, I have finished uh, all the dictionaries which contain all the symbols like uh, uh, functions, macros, uh, variables, constants and so on, and uh, the glossary. Additionally, the glossary is uh, fully linked, so there are no uh, linking mistakes, uh, I mean, in the hyperlinks. Uh, still before me, there are concepts. So all, so all the chapters uh, that are not uh, dictionaries or glossary, linking. Uh, the English language is surprisingly com uh, complex when it comes to hyperlinks. For example, uh, I was manually uh, fi fixing the, uh, this page. This screenshot is from today. Here we have condition. Nat naturally, it links to a page condition. Signals. It links to page signal without the S at the end. And here, handle. It is a broken link that uh, it, it tries to link to the page handle, but should uh, to handle or handling. I don't know. I, I, I need to check and fix it. Once I do all of this, I need uh, to do a general review of it, possibly with the help of the community. Here is a big mistake that I have made because, well, this is my first work in editing such a thing. Uh, as I progressed, I simply was attempting to fix all the mistakes that I had, uh, have made without marking what I checked and where. So, uh, while the previous document is a formal specification, this new one might be some good documentation, but well, it was subject to frivolous editing by a single person which was uh, what, uh, for example, Kent Pittman attempted to avoid when being an, an editor for the original uh, ANSI standard. And finally, once it, it's finished, I will need to ship it, give it a little bit of, of advertisement, like uh, one friend of mine, uh, one Polish listener who was on the previous uh, ELS, uh, starting to advertise me the one hacker news behind my back. <laughs> okay, this slide isn't the best, but I uh, copied it verbatim from uh, the previous uh, presentation. I'm aiming for something editable that I can, uh, that I, that, that other people can also edit, more or less complete, so it. Uh, well, it's a, a single place, downloadable, so one may uh, create a mirror on, on the computer, mirrorable, uh, yes, version. Uh, so, uh, for example, this uh, isn't a very good slide. <laughs> yeah, modular. So, so, for example, you have an, a model for command list, a model for the command list interface manager. They exist uh, simultaneously, but, uh, well, if you remove one or, or the other, in the worst case, you simply get a lot of broken links. Uh, portable, so it uh, doesn't matter which uh, rendering engine it depends on. For example, I'm using DocuWiki right now, and uh, it doesn't need to be DocuWiki. It might be Emacs uh, displaying the, the same thing, it may be uh, something that exports to a more printable format and, and so on and so on. And finally, I would like this to be community-based, so I'm not the only person who does all of this, but it's actually people <coughs> moving it on, uh, on their own. Moving on from this uh, awful slide, this is uh, the history of my comments. Uh, on GitHub, uh, on the project of uh, the, the, the Ultras. <coughs> Initially, we have the, the ELS 16, where I created the live demo. Then we have a lot of silence, and me thinking, I should get to work. <laughs> and then, uh, before the ELS, I did a lot of work uh, in one burst, after which, we have today. <laughs> Uh, I would like to comment on two things that came to my mind that a lot of this time is simply me not wanting, uh, not wanting to work and this other is something that uh, some people have uh, warned me uh, about burning out 
It's a little bit more complex. Because I, as I have noticed, uh, this might be obvious to you, but there are a lot of uh, things that uh, get uh, neglected during uh, such bursts of work, such as, for example, the little bit of uh, social interactions that programmers might have with, with other people, as, uh, work stuff, family stuff, and so on. So actually this area before and this area later, I actually didn't know that I valued this uh, social interactions, uh, just talking with people every time. I didn't know that I valued it uh, that much until I got submerged in the classwork and, uh, well, I began starving. <laughs> and finally, uh, I would like to make a few final thoughts because I initially, uh, initially when I began working on class, I thought, okay, there, there are these text files, uh, I will simply translate them to another markup. Okay, but as I progressed, 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 and found all the things that wanted to be fixed, begged to be fixed, such as uh, prog2, returning it, uh, uh, it, uh, the value of its first term, according to the specification, um, I, ended, I ended up uh, thinking, I'm becoming an editor. One more editor of the <coughs> list specification. <coughs> Overall, I get the, this feeling that uh, the specification was, uh, it lacks, the original specification lacks this, uh, one final, uh, this one final person who would place the final touches, uh, make this final edits and so on and so on. And finally, uh, what I am doing right now, I'm working with bodies of text. Uh, I'm working with uh, large amounts of text, English text, that is a book on list, but end in end, uh, I'm not working with list directly, only indirectly. So, am I a scribe here, or a programmer, or a, a, a weird combination of the two? Finally, there's a lot of uh, small in-jokes, a lot of comments uh, inside the DPN's comments, so the parts that it gets completely skipped. It's uh, pretty worth to uh, just read the sources of, of the DPNs and see what parts were removed, what parts were commented out, and so on and so on. This is a much uh, wider question. If I am an editor of a specification, who is the new committee, if there is a committee at all? So summing it up, what I want to do, I want to parse the specification, edit it wherever it is necessary, make it parsable further, so it is further editable and uh, moldable by people. I want to publish it uh, under, uh, I want to place it into the public domain, just uh, like the source. I want to let it, uh, the community turn it into anything it wants. So it might be an uh, MX readable version of the code, a web version, a printable version, someone tries to turn uh, the, my, my markup into X, X, into S uh, expressions. One might uh, make uh, a community wiki, a repository for uh, documentation from the whole universe, and finally, maybe, it might become a basis for uh, a revised standard that everyone talks about, but nobody uh, actually tries to, uh, to, to implement it. The demo is available here. I will not show it because uh, the, the screenshots uh, have uh, already shown everything. Thanks, Nicholas. And this is the actual uh, end, part two. Yeah, just three things. The, the class is not yet finished. I will be looking for contributors uh, in the nearest future. I, and I think it's time for any questions. So you said that you translated it to DocuWiki? Yes, I translated the text into DocuWiki markup. My first question is do you have a formal grammar for the DocuWiki markup language? Formal grammar? Uh, I think it's specified well enough, but I. <laughs> I do not have any, uh, I do not have such a document. I, I will, like, I and mean, it's a great thought, I think it's the absolutely right way to go, but I think that's one of the most important things is to make sure that you have a program, whatever you're putting into it, otherwise it's really hard to pass and there's, you know, 
provable that you did it right. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I won't touch anything that's not a language or form grammar because yeah. Yeah, it's just not possible to do. Really. Uh, basically, I did have a document here. Uh, I simply check if the page renders as it should. So I trust the document that it does the right thing here, but I have no formal way to, to prove such. Yeah, kind of like one to the language, you want to translate into a language that has more grammar so that it can easily write a thousand words. Mm -hmm. So then you do whatever you want. So that's, I think, it's really important. Yes. Like some kind of middle ground. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Possibly. In format that's mm -hmm. possible. Possibly the person who uh, attempted uh, and I, I actually translated a single page uh, this the wiki markup into S expressions might help more because uh, these S expressions were, uh, were uh, better defined. Uh, by the way, okay, I mean, uh, you, you have uh, in your repository and you didn't consider using an actual uh, uh, parser like ESRF. I actually attempted. Uh, I actually thought of using a few parsers, but at the time I uh, couldn't find a, a proper one. Probably wasn't even uh, directed uh, in the proper di direction, and I ended up uh, thinking with all the custom uh, pieces of uh, tech inside. Uh, I could uh, just as well try doing it uh, semi-manually by hand, and I expect I would end up I would end up uh, spending similar time writing a parser than doing it all by replace and search. But, uh, but, you, but you think that you have the complete history of the end that you use, right? Or not? More or less, yes. Because I mean, I can't maybe publish. I should check it. I have a tag parser for some, another subset of text, so if you have all your regex, then it may be combinable. Sure. Yeah, actually, yes. I just want to talk. Uh, you mentioned uh, the request documentation frequency, something like that. Um, there is also uh, MGL Fax, uh, which is uh, a documentation generator. And it also um, works differently than uh, QuickDocs. It generates you an HTML version of documentation, mm -hmm. and uh, you can uh, describe additional uh, documentation by yourself. But it also passes the code and just uh, generates documentation without your uh, without any edits. Mm -hmm. So uh, it also might be not. Uh, the worst idea to just um, like go through some implementation with dark strings and it will extract. Sure. Send me the links. Uh, I don't know this service, but I will check it out. Uh, I posted it on the uh, IRC. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, you said that you did some locations in places that were like broken or in a distance. Yes. So, uh, how hard do you think is it to uh, extract it to separate patches so that we know that this is the state that was converted, right? And this is where we Yes, yes. Uh, I actually mentioned that I failed to make a diff file. So, basically, all the difference uh, what was it before, what is it now? It is one of the things that I will need to do at the very end, uh, basically compare the two texts uh, line by line, character by character, and uh, pick out all the places that I have fixed. Last question. Oh. Yes. So, um, quick docs, I think, is actually a problem right now because it assumes that all documentation is written in Markdown, which is not. And also Markdown is not defined. Uh, actually, not Markdown, it, that all documentation is written in uh, doc strings. In the documentation... It's positive Markdown. Okay. It's small freebies. And uh, anyway, it's not all documentation is written in Markdown, and the documentation that's not written in Markdown, like say in a different language, is rendered really badly. And I tried to ask like, where you would start fixing this, and the answer I got was basically that it's not maintained anymore, it's just done, so now we have like a hosting of documentation of my libraries which look like shit and uh, I have no way to like make it stop because I'm really great for the shit host myself I just don't want the shitty rendering thing on it part of the comment? Sorry. No. Okay. Thank you a lot